Hey guys, today I have some data to share with you with regards to the expected range for the BMW i3 as it ages and gets more mileage. Data I collected here from various used car sites uh, for ranges from you know, zero up to over 100,000 miles for the 60 amp hour battery. You can see in the blue data points that it spreads out in a cone shape. I think the cone is related to whether people are driving aggressively or not driving aggressively. Uh, but that's that's my guess at this point in time. The red dots represent the 94 amp hour uh, battery pack. And what I thought was interesting, if you look at it, that the slopes of the regression lines, even though the regression lines are not very good, are about the same as it shows here, um, which seems a bit strange to me since you would think that the degradation of the 94 amp hour would be less than the 60 amp hour just because of the number of recharging cycles it would have for the same amount of miles. So kind of interesting data. Uh, it does show that uh, there can be a big variation between um, usage rates on how far it can go. This is one data point that I saw in Reddit just recently and it's highlighted here. So there is a lot of variation, but I think this particular data point is probably uh, suspect since it looks like for 2014, it looks more like a 94 amp hour battery. So something doesn't add up with that particular data point. So the car has something called uh, battery Kappa Max. And I won't go into how to uh, see that. You can look, look at this particular video. There's many videos online to be able to get into that particular hidden software menu to uh, access the battery Kappa Max uh, data. But that being said, uh, the data that I've collected um, over the last almost three years looks very interesting. It's almost linear with the mileage on the vehicle during this time period. It does vary slightly, but uh, it varies based on temperature and uh, not so much based on the uh, charging rate for anywhere from 600 watts clear up to 7.4 kilowatts. What also is interesting is that since we had the opportunity with the pandemic going around, the amount of driving uh, versus the date was quite a bit different during the last roughly 12 months. So I give an opportunity to break apart is the degradation related to time or is it related to miles. And if you look at this particular chart that's plotting the battery Kappa Max versus date, that you can see it did somewhat level off during this uh, pandemic period. And then since uh, about April of this year, I started driving much more and it started curving back down again. So it suggests that the uh, mileage uh, or kilowatt hour loss by mileage is related to uh, the, the overall mileage more than than the calendar aging. Another interesting data point is the actual mileage when the uh, car is charged over this same period of time. And uh, what's interesting, both in Eco Plus and in Comfort range for the data points that I have, that even though the battery Kappa Max has been continually going down, the actual range estimate for the vehicle has been relatively flat during this whole entire time. And I've been driving basically the same style as far as the you know, kilowatt hours per mile that uh, I've had since the beginning. Uh, I did want to mention that the data also says that temperature is a major factor, which I think everyone knows at this point in time. So that data is also the, in this information. So I recently purchased the my EV iPhone app so I could get into the internal variables for the data management system for the battery. And right now it's at a 81% state of health. And at a full state of charge, the average cell state of charge is 79.1%. So I think that may be telling me that the battery is being very conservative with regards to maintaining the life of the, the battery as long as possible, possibly to the end of the uh, warranty period. 
So in conclusion, there's a few major takeaways I think I need to mention here, which is one, it's not clear that the 94 amp hour battery is degrading at a lower rate than the 60 amp hour based on the limited data that I have. They both seem to have the same trend downward at about the same slope. Um, the other takeaway is uh, probably driving more conservative around you know, five to six kilowatt hours per mile versus pedal, pedal to the metal uh, two to three miles per kilowatt, kilowatt hour might be significantly impacting the overall battery life on that vehicle. Uh, the third takeaway would be that uh, the battery management system seems to be pretty conservative on how it's reducing the overall capacity of the battery versus time and uh, maybe more so than it would need to uh, but this again was an early vehicle and it's probably being very conservative in how it was uh, doing the battery management and uh, that pretty much is what I've been able to see so far in the data. So I hope this helps as far as uh, people understanding how uh, batteries are degrading on this car. Thanks.